Hey, welcome back, everyone, for some more Spyro the Dragon on Spyro Reignited Trilogy for the Switch. And without further ado, let's go to Alpine Ridge. Sorry about that awkward intro there. I thought something happened with my laptop there, but anyway, we're going to be taking on the first level in Magic Crafters World. And like I said in the previous video, I don't th there's not a single level in this world that I don't like. This is probably my favorite. Well, actually, I think Wizard Peak I like a, a tad bit more than this one. Though this level is pretty solid, too. And this is another one, like Town Square and Cliff Town, where everything's l really nicely interconnected with one another. And you can see Spyro once again showing off. Okay, let's see what Alpine Ridge has to offer. So in this world, we have to find 500 gems, 4 dragons, and a dragon egg. Now, I should say that I did not play this before off-camera, so... If I do end up screwing up in a few parts, then... Please bear with me. And this armor druid can be a bit of a pain in the neck to try to get. Very awkwardly placed. And I like how- oh! I thought he got me there. <laughs> but like I was gonna say right before that uh, near scare there, I like the way that the uh, beasts look in this level compared to the original. I've always liked the music in this world, too. It's a very catchy song. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, make sure... Okay. Let's time this right. And yes, I did! Nice! Could've used this, but... That's the easy way out. Okay, I don't think I'm missing anything here. Let's look around the corners. Oh! Before I do that, let me rescue this dragon. And I've rescued Zane! Oh, Spyro! You're not afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not! Oh, good. I didn't think so. <laughs> nice. As you can see here, we got a bit of a fork on the road here. We could either go to the left here and see all those druids over there just waiting for Spyro to come. Or we could take this path with this lonely looking beast here. You can see that uh, wall moving up and down in the background. But I suggest going to the left first. Because you're going to end up uh, going to where the beast is anyway. And here's another kind of frightening glide. Let's see if I can get it. Nice. Make sure I'm not missing any treasure here. Okay, be careful in this section because it's very easy to get ambushed by these druids. As you can see, I already took damage. Which, I didn't realize how, sh how quickly they shot in this version of the game. But like I said before, this is not a no damage run by any means, so I'm not even worried. Heck, I don't even care how many times I die in this playthrough. I'm just having a blast with this game. I got nothing to prove. <laughs> Okay, be careful with the pattern here. And I like how the Jewish sound in this game, too. I think they sound pretty cool. Okay, I don't think I'm missing any treasure. Okay. Definitely gonna be some more frightening uh, glides here later on. You can see, sheep are the fodder in this world. Ok, 
Okay, I do want to take my time here. There we go. And I don't know what the heck was supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, he had nowhere to go, really. So I don't know what the heck was. <laughs> If you think these glides are scary here at the beginning, wait till you see the ones later on in this level. Buy some more sheep. Look how pretty this level is. You see there's a dragon over there? We'll get to him in a bit. Which, I just thought of it, there are no female dragons in this game, which kind of sucks to be honest. I mean, if you really think about it, I guess it really doesn't make a difference whether they're male or, male or female. But, you would like to think there would be at least a few female dragons around, but anyway, we rescued Eldred. Thank you for releasing me. That dragon looks pretty cool. Okay, let's take care of you. We're halfway to our gem quota here. Oh, how did I miss you? There we go. Wakey, wakey. Nighty, nighty. <laughs> there we go. You really have to pick your fights carefully in this level. If that is one difficult thing about this stage, if you even want to call it that. You really have to be mindful of your surroundings and pick what enemies you want to take care of first. Because if you try to focus on an armored druid, more uh, more often than not, you end up getting ambushed by a beast. And vice versa, if you end up focusing on a beast, more often than not, you're going to end up getting attacked by an armored druid. So you really have to be mindful of what you're doing in this stage. Wakey, wakey. Oh! I, I didn't even think I blew up that chest! Apparently the game thought I did, so... I'm not gonna argue with it. Yeah, I didn't think... Okay. Nice. See another dragon there, but we're not going to rescue him just yet. And you can see from this view, that is the beginning of the level where we flew in on, but we're not ready to go there yet. As a matter of fact, we shouldn't have to go back there. Let's get these gems right here. Feels like I'm missing some treasure. I know I say that all the time, but... Anyway, we, we rescued Xander. Great work! Spyro, if you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the Magic Crafters world. Yeah, we're only one level in. <laughs> and we're getting close to half the dragons rescued in this game. Okay. How do I want to do this? Okay, let me glide over here. And you can probably see those firework chests over there, which I'll deal with in a bit. And you can probably hear a- you can see the thief right there, other than hear him, but... Before we get to him, let's rescue Kelvin. Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Yeah, we already rescued all the other ones in the world, but... Yeah, Kelvin's one of my favorite dragons in this world to a degree. Probably should focus on getting the gems first, but I really want to get that dragon egg. Okay. 
<laughs> I like the noises that the thief makes when you're getting close. Like, Ooh! Oh! Why did he say? Why did Spyro roll there? I didn't even come close to pushing the roll button. Okay, this may take a while. Oh! Oh! Oh, come on. See, I'm trying my trick that I do in the original version of this game. It just doesn't work that way, unfortunately. But there we go. I finally caught up to the, the, the thief. And I got a total of eight dragon eggs so far. Four seventy-seven, four seventy-nine. Okay. Feels like I'm missing some treasure. I should. I think I should be around four eighty. Okay, unless this one is a red gem. Yep, that's what I figured. And I'm gonna go ahead and save here because this part of this level scares me, and it's. You get these tiny pedal stools right here, which I barely made that. But yeah, that's nice. Okay. Okay, where's Where's the- okay, there it is. I was gonna say, where's the other gem man? And I got all the treasure? Rescued all the dragons? Rescued the dragon egg? 100% level complete. Okay, I don't want to lose my life over something stupid. Let's go back to the exit portal. I could just go here and go exit level, but... I really don't want to. And just to say uh, right here and now, later on in the game, the game actually requires you to actually get to the exit portal in order for you to progress further in this game. So it's a good habit to do just going to the exit portal instead of just going to exit level through the menu. But yeah, I had a few hiccups there, mainly trying to get that thief. But we're back in the Magic Crafters world. Surprise some sheep. Get an extra life. And next time I see you guys, we will be going to High Cave. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.